human civilizations dating back thousands of years to lag behind structures and records documenting their studies of the stars as they tried to trace the seasons of the year, help travelers find their way and interpret the world around them. Astronomers among the ancient Greeks, Mayans, Egyptians, Middle East and Asians probably also pondered whether there were other planets like ours among those distant points of light. Over the last century, science fiction storytellers have used books, movies, comics and television to speculate with more details about contact with beings from other worlds, to our benefit and to our detriment. These creatures have been imagined as sometimes benevolent and sometimes bloodthirsty, and have come in a wide range of shapes and sizes, from curious little green men to parasitic human, chest-popping xenomorphs a broad movie franchise. Today's astronomers have been equally researching this issue, using sophisticated equipment to listen more and look deeper into the universe than ever, to find evidence of our cosmic neighbors. From the detection of radio signals have no explanation in the investigation of environments and liquid water in distant worlds, how are the scientists looking for signs of extraterrestrial life? For a scientist looking for an alien, life means any form of life, including microbes, Astronomer Mercedes Lopez Morales, of the Harvard-Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics in Cambridge, Massachusetts. But even the smallest of microbes living on a distant exoplanet, a planet orbiting a star that is not our Sun, could still emit a chemical signal that would be visible to sensitive telescopes in the form of atmospheric gases that would probably not be there in the absence of life, explained Lopez Morales. 